G'day folks, my name is Mish. For those who don't know me, I'm a metal detectorist and treasure hunter from Australia. In today's video, I am taking you along my journey to become a certified open water scuba diver. So I only just received this certification this weekend, just gone. It's all still very fresh in my head. It started with a lot of online learning, followed by some training dives in a pool, and then finally followed up by four open water dives. I made some great friends out of it. I got some amazing visuals along the way and I've just learned so much about diving safely in our beautiful oceans. It is content that I will bring to my channel in time but I do need to acquire the gear and also a bit more training first. But without any further ado, let me take you along the journey I've had over the past couple of weeks. Enjoy! Now, sadly, I didn't have my GoPro with me for the indoor pool training dives. However, a student graciously took these photos of me while I was training. This was all about getting the gear on and off correctly, troubleshooting it for any issues, communicating effectively with your buddy, and most importantly, learning what to do if something went wrong during a dive. This was a lot of fun, but as you can imagine, I was itching to get out in the real water. Stay tuned, it's coming right up. diver at the top of the screen that's our instructor he spotted a massive stingray up ahead and signaled to us that there was one up there but we all missed it watch for the arm signal there it is
Well, folks, that's a wrap for dive number two. Time to go home, get a good night's sleep. We've got two dives off a boat tomorrow. I cannot wait to get this done. Now this was a lot of fun, so our instructor sat us down the circle and gave each of us a separate safety task. I have written them in the captions down below if you wanted to pause and read them. They were typically safety tasks and stuff that we've learned already, but then once he got to me he gave me something slightly different. Keep watching. This was the last of the safety tasks and something did go a little wrong here so essentially what's happening here is that the gentleman on the right is meant to be putting this regulator in his mouth and breathing in air. Unfortunately he put it in upside down so instead of breathing air he took in a big old mouthful of water. Thankfully the instructor fixed him up nice and quick and prevented him from shooting up to the surface instead. All is well.
All right, guys, we're nearly there. We are onto my final dive for this course. And essentially what we were doing was we were circumnavigating around a small rock island, keeping it to our right the whole time and doing a full loop. It had an amazing reef wall, but sadly my GoPro did die halfway through this dive. So I'll show you the first half and then I've got some photos at the end for the bits that I missed with my camera. There was a moderate swell on this day, so it did cause a bit of back and forth flow through the water. This is the island that I was talking about that's back here. The seaweed growing out of it is sweeping back and forth, a bit like a curtain opening and closing. But if you catch it at the right moment, you can see some stunning corals growing on the side. This was a funny moment, so in this shot you're seeing a lady taking a photo of her husband, but what they don't realise is that the instructor is about to photobomb their shot. So this was unfortunately the last clip on my GoPro before the battery ran completely out. I forgot to change the battery between dive three and four. So I will learn from my mistake, but in the meantime, here's some photos that my dive buddy took. I am really grateful to her for providing these to me at the end. I'm pleased to report that every single one of the students on this dive did pass their course. We celebrated with a couple of brews and some certificates at the end of the day. I can't wait to see where this course takes me in life. I'm looking forward to advancing my skills and ultimately providing some more really cool scuba content for you guys in the months to come. So thank you very much for joining me on this adventure. I do hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. As always, I will catch you on my next adventure. Cheers.